Hey folks, it's Henry Steele. Today is Saturday, October 24th, 2020. And this year is getting close to being finished. We're what, seven days away from Halloween and then 68 more days till the end of the year, I think, from here. So I'm ready for this year to be over. I don't know about you, but this has been one heck of a year for the world and for me personally, but won't get into that. We all know about that, right? So I've been busy doing some research on some stuff that has not a lot to do with trading, to be honest with you, but I decided to go ahead and take a couple hours breaks from that and do some videos for YouTube to get those videos up in the next few hours so that they'll be released over the next few days. Anyway, this is the first of those videos. I wanted to talk about the difference between heliocentric and geocentric geometry or specifically the longitude of the planets this video basically is stemming from an email that i got not too long ago when someone asked me why is there a difference between geocentric and heliocentric longitude of the planets and basically the person was a complete novice and didn't understand the difference between geo and heliocentric but in explaining that to that person I decided to do a video to point something out that I think a lot of people miss and is something that you might want to spend a little time studying. So let's look. I'm going to go to restrictions, restrict everything. We'll just use Jupiter and the Sun as our example planets. Okay, so we have geocentric. To, this is today, October 24th. Geocentric. And the longitude of Jupiter is 290 degrees geocentric. If we change it to heliocentric, we see the longitude of Jupiter is now 301 degrees, so it's about 11 degrees different. So the thing to understand and know about this, and this is true for any planet that is past the orbit of Earth. So in other words, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, uh, any asteroid that's past Earth that you might be keeping track of works the same way. And so what happens is if we let's go to where there's a conjunction of the sun and Jupiter on January 28th, 2021, at about 309 degrees geocentric, there will be a conjunction, and Jupiter, of course, will be at 309 degrees. Well, if we go to heliocentric, we're going to find that Jupiter is at 390 degrees, or I'm sorry, 309 degrees heliocentric also. So instead of being an 11 degree difference like there was before, as of today, there's, there will be no difference between the longitude of Jupiter, helio, or geocentric. And the reason for that is the conjunction of the Sun. When any planet, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, or Pluto, any planet that's outside of Earth's orbit, is conjunct the Sun, the longitude will be identical or the same helio and geocentric. Now, if we go over to an opposition, we're going to find that exactly the same thing happens. Let's see. That's pretty close to perfectly in opposition. So right here, heliocentrically, Jupiter is at 327. And if we go to geocentric, it's going to be 327 again. And the reason for that is because what's happening is the Earth this is geocentric, so the Earth is right here in the center. We have the Sun lined up with the Earth and Jupiter. All three planets are in an exact line, which means it doesn't matter if you're looking from the Sun or from Earth, or I should say from Earth or the Sun, the apparent position of Jupiter is going to be the same. So that's a conjunction or an opposition because the three are lined up. So if you do a little bit of thinking, you can probably quite easily come to the realization that the largest degree of difference in helio and geocentric positioning of a planet 
is going to come when that planet is in a square position or 90 degree position to the sun. And the reason for that is, is because it's between, that's exactly between the conjunction and the opposition. So if there's no difference here and there's no difference here in a conjunction or opposition, the biggest difference is going to be perpendicular or 90 degrees from it right there. So right here, November 15th, 2021, we have Jupiter at 321.666. Ooh. If we go heliocentric, we have Jupiter at 335. So again, we have a very large degree of difference right there. Now, like I said, this is true for all planets that are outside the orbit of the Earth. Mercury and Venus, which are between um, the Sun and Earth, it works differently. As in there's a much greater degree of difference. You're still going to get, Mike, let's go ahead and put Mercury in there. We have Mercury conjunct the Sun right here. So Mercury is at 246 and a half geocentric and 246, just about a half because it's not exactly precisely conjunct. But it's, in other words, it's again, it's very, very close to the same degree. And if it were precisely conjunct, it would be the same degree. But with Mercury and Venus, if we go in opposition right there when we go back to geocentric we find that there's another conjunction happening because of the way the planets move because they're between the earth and the sun so again the position is going to be here mercury is at 302 almost 303 and then if we go heliocentric we find that it's essentially 180 degrees different so the two planets that are between Mercury and Venus, the Sun and Earth, are going to have up to a 180 degree difference between geocentric and heliocentric. The planets outside of the Earth, Mars through Pluto, and asteroids, are not going to have that much. They'll go like Jupiter 11, 12 degrees, Saturn because it's further out, the angular difference will be less. There'll be fewer degrees of a difference. And the further out a planet is, the less of a difference there will be between geocentric and heliocentric. So that means Mars will have the biggest difference because it's the closest planet to Earth. And, but closest planet to Earth, but still on the outside. And Pluto would have the least amount of difference between geocentric and heliocentric. So... Now that you know and understand that, if you didn't before, that's something that you should look into, I think. You might be surprised at what you can derive from that information. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say for this video, and I will talk to you in the next one.